ओके वेलकम कैन कम लाइव इफ यू वांट वी वर हैविंग गोइंग टू हैव अ डिस्कशन थैंक यू अनुपम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई कैन वॉल्यूम अप करी परिवा नाउ विल स्टार्ट योर सेशन दिस इज अमर द्विवेदी ही इज आल्सो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर उत्तर प्रदेश पीसीएस एंड ही इज ऑप्शनली इज एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सो ओके वी आर हैविंग एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ऑप्शनल्स आउटसाइड स्टेट आल्सो व्हिच आर इन मच डिमांड एंड ओडिसा जस्ट इट हैज बिकम अच्छा दिवेदी जी आपका यूपी में हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स टेक एंथ्रोपोलॉजी गुड मॉर्निंग जेंटलमैन इन यूपी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इन द माई नॉलेज रिसेंटली वॉट वॉज द रिजल्ट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन अप्रोक्सीमेटली इन द रैंक होल्डर्स इलेवन इलेवेंथ रैंक होल्डर्स इज ऑप्शनल इज एंथ्रोपोलॉजी वैल्यू ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी राइजिंग डे बाई डे Okay. Now, good morning to all. Uh, I'm from. Uh, I'm. A, let's start the anthropology session. Today we are going to cover the uh, anthropology paper one uh, of OPSC and your similar from UPPCS also. It will cover the maximum portion. Most most of the syllabus are similar. What is anthropology? Answer please. Sir, it is the study of man in totality in terms of time and space. You can have a better answer. Anthropology is the holistic study of biological and social cultural evolution and variation in humans across space and time. This video is recorded, and uh, this video will be uh, uploaded in YouTube by OPC Study Team within two or three days. Why it should be studied? Why study anthropology? Uh, because sir, it's the holistic study. Other discipline they study part of human society, like you know, economic studies, economic part, and political science studies, politics part. But we study the holistic, uh, all the interrelated uh, things we study. That's why we anthropology study. should be studied because it has helped us by understanding ourselves better, understanding differences among human beings, and uh, there is applied anthropology, and provide solution to social problems like. Uh, social problems like racism, casteism, tribal issues, all these uh, solutions are there. Okay, what is the basic definition of anthropology? Basic Same definition of anthropology. It's the holistic study of man in time and space. Yes, that is it. But it has been taken from two words, two Greek words. That is, anthropos, man, and logos means study or science. Anthropology is a combination of these two words. It is just the science of man and his works and behavior. Who said that anthropology is a sign of man in its totality? In about Clyde Klukon. Clyde Klukon said this. Anthropology is the science of man in its totality. Who said, sir? Clyde Klukon. Oh, Klukon. Okay. okay. Uh, who said that anthropology may be defined as the measurement of human beings? I am asking all these questions from uh, Akshat Jain, Devi Ji. You sir. can you can see the answers in Akshat Jain. All these questions have been derived okay. from Akshat Jain. One by one. Okay, 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 sir. Sir, sir, right, sir. Anthropology may be defined as the measurement of human beings. Was said by Harskovitz. You know about Harskovitz? Yes, sir. Why anthropology is called a totalistic study of human beings? It studies everything from uh, society to economics to uh, politics. Uh, everything it studies. That's why we. Uh, it studies a man in its totality. Of uh, all the other scientific disciplines that deal with various aspects of human beings, 
anthropology is a science which comes nearest to the total study of man therefore it may be called a holistic or a synthesizing discipline or a science of man in its totality totality means what this physical emotional social cultural evolutionary all these aspects are studied yes what is the scope of anthropology tibidi ji bataiye scope of anthropology scope of scope of anthropology in the study of the other uh, other disciplines also actually main main th- in the research field research field research field of the thousand years before how the develop how the man and the mankind has been developed so, so socially scientifically and culturally okay anupam scope of anthropology um, uh, it's it's the four branch of anthropology that is biological socio cultural then uh, archaeological was, and linguistic it can be said uh, described as a form of four subdivisions of anthropology which was described by franz goethe there physical anthropology so cultural anthropology and uh, archaeological anthropology and linguistic anthropology when well, when someone asks you about the scope you have to say this only okay tell me about the comparative method in anthropology you can I find mean... in uh, if you have after jane you can look at, read that and tell me about yes, sorry it is basic uh... so it is basically the uh, i think prop, uh, proponented by ibi taylor uh, he said that we can uh, uh, compare the contemporary tribal societies with uh, uh, to- contemporary tribal and non western societies with ancient uh, uh, societies and we can make derivation from that uh, uh, to get to know about them and how they used to live and all comparative method is a practice of equating contemporary society contemporary means uh, on the premise present age primitive societies with non western society with the past and compare it with industrial society in order to trace the origin and evolution of society why anthropology is the most liberating of all sciences uh, because it has helped us to uh... uh eliminate the biases which are propagated by the europeans especially uh, though with their uh, ethnocentric view about non western societies that they are superior than us it has helped us to uh, eliminate this bias and also it has helped us to uh, get rid of the social uh, evils of our society like the ca- evils of caste system and uh, purity of blood all those notions and it has also helped us to uh, Uh, come into some kind of uh, into road of modernity to help us to get into uh, okay try to precise your answers by telling certain points the more number of points you will tell you get more marks if you describe one then you will get adding only one point anthropology has contributed to the formation of an of an enlightened citizenry enlightened citizenry free from narrow and parochial feelings which in itself is a liberating phenomenon also it has busted the myth of cultural superiority and racism it has busted the myth of racism it has put the entire mankind at the same level it has helped maintain peace and harmony in the world which is a prerequisite for growth and development peace now what is the research strategy of anthropology it's basically participant observation and field work where the uh, anthropologist uh, stays with the uh, the community that he studies on to deal with the vast and universal scope of anthropology it has adapted a research uh, strategy which has several approaches like field work approach holistic approach comparative method you told already emi kinetic approach case study approach and systems and processes approach out of these six uh, approaches if you tell five also you will get good marks why holistic approach is a unique feature of anthropology why it is unique because it has uh, tried to uh, understand every aspect of human being from socio cultural archaeological and biological uh, lang- linguistic so that's why it is known as holistic because it is the holistic science of man since it deals with totalistic study of humans in time and space also the subject matter includes physical cultural archaeological and linguistic anthropology 
okay for this verse it is known as holistic study okay how anthropology differs from social sciences this question came in your psc uh in case social sciences we include the sociology history all these things but in sociology uh, studies only the social aspect and we study all the biological social linguistic everything we study and history also studies only the historical aspect uh but uh, we study <coughs> everything the totality of man and that's why it's uh, different from social sciences yeah, okay yes yes anthropology is actually a holistic study of all Mm, of all human beings, but social sciences deal with only with the sociological aspect of human life. That too, with the modern society. Yes. Compare anthropology with behavioral sciences. Uh, in behavioral sciences, uh, we can include uh, psychology, and in psychology, the individual mind is studied. But in anthropology, the uh, mind, uh, we can say, the mind of society is being studied. like uh, mind of society and primitive culture and yes. how they react psychic unit of mind can all these are studied okay 14 compare anthropology with sociology uh, compare anthropology with sociology like i said sir sociology studies only the social aspect but anthropology studies the holistic aspect but there is commonality between the two also because uh, various methods and uh, the techniques that uh, that are used in sociology are also used in anthropo anthropology and uh, even recently the participant observation which was uh, exclusive to anthropology was being taken up by the sociologist also yes but both this in the both this in the disciplines are integrating integrated even no. some sociologist or anthropologist like mn srinivas he, he is a both sociologist and anthropologist and anthropologist yes indeed and also levit uh, levis trust you can say yes yes cloud levis trust compare anthropology with uh, psychology psychology is the study of uh, individual uh, like like i said psych. before it is individual mind or individual psyche there is yes. uh, socio cultural anthropology studies which is collective psyche of a group of a society of a ethnic city ethnicity how the group behaves yes you can for example say race racism is also a type of uh, psychological and anthropology thing anthropology with history uh, history yes miss Speak. the history is basically the chronological aspect of uh, uh, we study our history in a chronological way from uh, dynasty after dynasty uh, and it is also mainly confined to the literate societies but in case of mm -hmm. anthropology we go uh, beyond literate societies and uh, also in modern modern times that nowadays history is also integrating some things from uh, anthropology they are also going beyond uh, uh, modern uh, kings and all so okay minus star welcome so minus star means venus <laughs> so we are on psycho hello hello sir good morning ah uh, good morning uh, you can ask your uh, first we are having this discussion on printed questions you can uh, you can say the answers everybody is welcome uh, anthropology focuses on uh, simple societies for which there are no written records available but uh, histories study the present and past societies and which uh, uh, divided into ancient medieval and modern for this written records are available uh, anthropology even includes the prehistory of that means man was when uh, when were the evolutionary features of man was not present the studies of apes also tarsiers monkeys apes lemurs This is also included. Anthropology with life science. So in life sciences, we include geology, botany, and they study basically the animal kingdom, which in which uh, even human is included. But uh, in anthropology, we are uh, mostly focused on uh, human aspect only. We are not going beyond human, but they are also studying human plus other animals also. 
yes sir it's very easy definition 18 uh, compare anthropology with medical sciences sir uh, in medical sciences uh, we understand it from only biological point of view but in terms of anthropology understand it from cultural socio uh, social point of view for example in certain societies unless someone is uh, bedridden he doesn't consider to be a ill person but in uh, and with that we also we can accommodate the uh, modern notions of medical science for example in certain societies they still uh, prefer to go to the summons for uh, uh, getting cured but in medical science, we, we prefer only modern medical technology. Actually, anthropology regards the role of cultural experts like religion, magic, and taboo as human health, as essential. These are essential uh, criteria in anthropology. But medical sciences ignores it. It considers it as a superstition. Medical sciences deal with prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases in a scientific manner. Right? This session is uh, recorded now. So after this session ends, you will get your this video in two three days. All the discussions are recorded. Twenty nineteen. Compare anthropology with earth sciences. In earth sciences, we include geology. And geology is the study of history of Earth. And uh, in anthropology, we, the, we can compare uh, geology with archaeological anthropology. Uh, because in archaeological anthropology also, we study the history of man, like uh, the evolution of man. And geology helps in studying those things. Also, there is one more discipline, geography. Anthropology studies human beings in a holistic manner, but the earth sciences include the disciplines of geography and geology. Yes, okay. yes, sir. What the correlation is that uh, archaeological and anthropology is correlated. Okay, good morning, Lipika. You can ask, uh, you can listen to the questions and answer answer them. We are having a discussion on the anthropology paper one. Around 300 questions will be covered, and this video, this session is a recorded session. Uh, you will get the all the records, this recorded session in YouTube. Now, what is the difference in between uh, anthropology with economics? Economics uh, studies only the uh, money money aspect of uh, the society, monetary value on the production, all these things. But uh, in uh, anthropology, we study the social aspect of economics. What is the social aspect behind the monetary transactions? So it's, it is basically social relations in terms of economics, but uh, it is not there in economics exclusively. Economy studies the monetized economy. But uh, in anthropology, ecological, economic anthropology, there is not a monetized economy, like like gift giving, uh, circular, uh, big fest, you know? Uh, a gift giving was there, reciprocation was there. One there was an example. Uh, what is that? Kula exchange. Kula exchange, yes. Kula exchange, right? there is no profit in physical terms, but there is a emotional linkage, cultural heritage remains. So that is the aspect of uh, ecological anthrop economical anthropology. But modern economics uh, deals with the profit and loss statement. Yes, yes. Uh, anthropology with political science. You have political anthropology, no? Yes. In political science, uh, we study the power relations. Between like, the local, uh, state, international and international levels. Okay, yes. Power structure and power structure. But in uh, uh, anthro political anthropology, we have a, a contemporary tribal society or primitive yes. society who, which has got uh, the tribal, uh, political system is not much matured. There are tribes, bands, <laughs> uh, I think uh, SFLS tribal societies, SFLS tribal societies, which are in the process of evolution. What are the, what is sociocultural anthropology? Yeah. 
in socio cultural ha very please speak about socio cultural anthropology ha can you say in socio cultural anthropology we study the uh, social aspect like economic uh, social institutions like economic institution political institutions and marriage family kinship all these things are part of social and socio cultural culture society across the space and time okay yes kal kal tha parso bhi ra, kal bhi parso bhi rahega aaj bhi rahega aur hum ha yahan pe india mein civil society western society tribal society all this on the culture what is ethnology uh, ethnology is the comparative study of ethnography of uh, comparative study of different ethnographies yes it is a comparative study of cultures and investigation of theoretical problems using information about different groups that means you can say ethnography what yes. is ethnography itself ethnography is the uh, is is a like uh, compilation of the data in in terms of economics society culture then uh, politics of of of, of a sing, single society is called ethnography but uh, you have to tell in anthropological terms anthro ethnography so, uh, detail Ah. detailed description of a culture groups uh, using comparative approach yes why where the participant have, where the ethnographer stays with a particular society so for a considerable period of 2 years or 5 years and records their culture detailed study ethnography involves detailed study or detailed description of a culture and uh, and not comparative study this question was asked in opc interview to me in 2019 last year What is the scope scope of social cultural anthropology? Scope means new branches. Uh, ecological anthropology, economic anthropology. political anthropology. political anthropology ethnology you said ethnography you said social anthropology you said and uh, cultural anthropology you said what is the difference between social anthropology and cultural anthropology it's uh, basically the same the difference is that you says in america they use the term cultural anthropology but in uk or united kingdom they use the social anthropology actually this was popularized by France was in America, whereas it was earlierly uh, first of all started in uh, UK by Radcliffe Brown in the name of social anthropology. Yes. What is economic anthropology? Good morning, Padma Ji. You can ask questions. This is anthropology session. Uh, actually, you can listen to the questions and ask, tell the answers. You are having anthropology, Asma. Can you speak? Okay, please uh, answer for me. Economic anthropology. Economic anthropology studies the economic aspect of a society, like production, distribution, and uh, market exchange all these things are studied in economic anthropology including yes, the social behind those exchanges yes it's a specialized branch of socio cultural anthropology deals with the structure and performance of primitive and peasant economies studied across space and time you have to always say it is a specialized branch of some higher branch tell me what is political anthropology what is political what anthropology studies the uh, studies about law and uh, the power relation in primitive societies evolution of uh, the 
political organization like from band to chiefdom to then monarch and uh, finally the state all these things are studied in political anthropology what is fascinating about this psychological anthropology i am not aware about that it is a branch specialist branch of social cultural anthropology it deals with the studies involving integration of cultural and mental processes you have heard about margaret mead margaret mead yes yes she is a psychological anthropologist okay cora du bois margaret mead these are psychological anthropologists think... what is the relevance of social cultural anthropology relevance means it it helps us understand the different societies better and their uh, status in the evolutionary structure of uh, the society like uh, economic aspect political aspect then um, various institutions like marriage kinship and it helps us to maintain a uh, differences among the human maintain diminish the finish the differences among the human beings so that the world could be a better place to live with peace and prosperity what is biological anthropology sir in last question please repeat kari answer sir what is uh, relevance of socio cultural anthropology so answer is yes it helps in uh, genetic awareness of the similarities and differences in human culture and behavior which helps in inculcating tolerance and avoiding conflicts among the public resulting into world peace and prosperity what is biological anthropology Uh, biological anth- anthropology basically deals with the origin uh, and differences in human being human races uh, and how not only just human but also other primates uh, like apes uh, and all so it's just uh, one of the four sub fields of anthropology it deals with biological evolution and variation of humans in space and time tell me about uh, human genetics in one line human genetics hmm. sir what is the question human genetics human genetics is the study of study of the mainly the born of baby and the genet- and, and the tech, uh, science and technology related to the birth of before the birth of the baby it the deals deals with the uh, genes chromosomes etc yes yes uh, more specifically human genes it is a specialized branch of biological anthropology which deals with the study of inheritance of human beings how the baby is born from the parents which genes he inherits that is human genetics what is primatology primatology is the study of uh, primates Sorry? what is primatology primatology is the primatology. Of... primatology primatology climate climate is related to climate mausam weather primate primatology primates primate okay okay uh, study of primates okay okay right anupam can you answer yeah it is the study of primates like uh, how they evolved uh, over the time and what is the, uh, how we can uh, by studying them how we can understand the evolution of man also so that is primatology i'll just tell that it is a specialized branch of biological anthropology which deals with the study behavior evolution and taxonomy of non human primates the apes are known as non human primates what is ecological anthropology uh, basically it was uh, propounded by uh, julian stewart and uh, according to him human uh, human being and uh, our environment are not so, two separate sphere but basically they are interdependent on each other both influence each other that is known as cultural ecology it was proposed by julian stewart
now tell me about dermatoglyphics uh, dermatoglyphics is basically the study of rays pattern in our palms our uh, legs uh, toys etc what are the patterns can you name a few uh, wheel pattern uh, uh, loop pattern uh, or something like arc or something like that i have forgotten what is new physical anthropology new physical anthropology is the concept, is the name given by wasborn in 1951 at in, it uh, differentiates from physical anthropology in terms of in physical anthropology we mostly studied morphological aspects and uh, morphological measurements but in new physical anthropology uh, we study the, the genetic uh, genetic sense dermatoglyphics all these things are studied in new physical study the genetics and other aspects for example yes. health microevolution which you are doing research on this field no. what is archaeological anthropology it is the study of uh, archaeological remains uh, and archaeological remains and also the skeletal remains of human beings to uh, understand the evolution of culture and uh, also biological evolution of man it deals with that uh, re reconstruction the cultural forms of the past and their growth and development in time yes through Basically, the culture excavate the materials and uh, try to find out the uh, the events and the the culture of the past the uh, reconstruct the culture of the past what is the relevance of uh, uh, what is linguistic anthropology Uh, it is basically the story of uh, evolution of language in human being because it is one of the most distinctive uh, part of human culture which is not usually found in other animals it is a gifted gift, a gift of god that human beings can only articulate the voice what is ethno semantics no semantics shall i answer hey ethno semantics is a sub branch of linguistic anthropology it studies the way perception and conceptualization influences language and how it is linked to different cultures and societies so can you repeat it again it is studies it is a sub branch of linguistic anthropology it studies the way perception and conceptualization influences language and how it is linked to different cultures and societies what is applied anthropology the application of anthropological knowledge for the development of any society by policy making bodies public and private anthropological yes. knowledge is used for the specific requirements like uh, uh, for development of primitive societies yes. weaker sections of society like sc st obc etc what is app uh, what is action anthropology it is the active involvement of anthropologist in term, uh, using his knowledge and uh, skills to uh, develop uh, societies in using basically using his knowledge in administration active involvement uh, can you tell me an example of uh, action anthropology for example uh, appointing an anthropologist in uh, in any uh, government scheme uh, who describe who define the tsp tribal plan that is known as uh, uh, active anthropology because they uh, form where they were in the government and they formed the uh, tribal plan sc dubey sc dubey yes 
and also lp vidyarthi worked among the maler which can be an example of action anthropology for the development of maler tribe maler population population na yes what are the biological factors in human evolution the development of uh, brain brain size increased and also uh, reduction in uh, the supraorbital arches and uh, reduction in prognathism and uh, then uh, erect posture basic is the erect posture and bipedalism they were uh, able yes. to walk on the straight the erect spine okay they had the bipedal gait man straight walking straight they were remodeling of face and feet uh there were prognathic okay orthognathism changed to prognathism expansion and development of brain the cranial capacity of the man increased increased gradually what are the cultural factors in human evolution uh, hunting tool making uh, language etc language speech tool making use fire okay. fire is also there And you can also say the binocular vision. What is organic evolution? This thing came in pre uh, this uh, last year means organic evolution. Organic evolution. Hmm. It is basically uh, the descent with modification according to uh, Darwin. Because uh, when we live according to the uh, ever changing environment, our uh, body gets modified, and those who adapt the best, they get survived. and uh, with uh, those changes come that get transmitted to the next generation and that is known as organic evolution actually organic evolution can be defined as a gradual process of change in gene frequency of a population the answers must be in anthropological manner what is lamarckism Lamarckism theory was described. Please, please, please go ahead. Please, thank you. Lamarckism theory was. Ankit, go ahead. Yes. Sir. Tell, tell. This theory was given by Lamarck in his book Principal uh, Phil Philosophy Geologic uh, Geologic or something. I am not remembering the name, and. Uh, it it is a theory of evolution which was given by lama the main and theme is you have to tell main theme what is lamarckism it states that it has two principles evolution is by environmental influence and inheritance of acquired characters example of lamarckism the giraffe uh, because of change in environment the uh, size of uh, length increased gradually size and length of what neck And neck, neck of neck of the zero. What is Darwinism? Twenty up to the twenty one generations of the mice, he cut hmm. the tail of the mice. Darwin, and he found that uh, the again growth. and again the mice uh, the tail growth. So Darwinism uh, is the theory uh, of organism evolution, which says states that. new species are evolved through the process of natural selection what is struggle for existence uh, the population increases in arithmetic progression but uh, uh, in geometric progression but the uh resources like food and everything they increase in arithmetic progression so there is a struggle for existence between the uh, population it is related to darwinism it's a postulate of darwinism that struggle for existence means struggle can be direct for food shelter shelter and mating or indirect that is against the environment for survival what is the uh, origin of species we changing uh, in gene frequency new species get arise according to the need of uh, those time 
Some individuals appear with marked morphology differing from parental generation, thus amounting to a new species. Original species means a new species is formed. Synthetic theory of evolution. Thank you. What is synthetic theory of mutation? Synthetic theory of evolution. <laughs> There are many shortcomings in Darwinism, as well as in Lamarckism. They, uh, uh, after, in the uh, first half of the 20th century, many theories come. They are combinedly known as synthetic theory. They proponented the ideas of mutation, hybridization, migration, genetic drift, etc. Genetic recombination? Uh, natural selection. Reproductive isolation, natural selection. What is gene mutation? What change is genetic in, mutation? Change, change in the base pair of uh, the DNA because of some radiation and all these things are called gene mutation. Gene mutation refers to a sudden random change in the nature of a single gene. Yes, because of change in base pair. Yes. What is inbreeding? Mating uh, among related genetically related individuals. Specifically, mating within a Mendelian population, where there is a, it is a closed system. No one can go to, go out of the system. If you mate, if someone mates within the Mendelian population, it is known as inbreeding. Can you name an example of inbreeding? Uh, cousin marriage. Cousin marriage. What is migration? Uh, when a population of a certain species migrated to a different area and they get uh, uh, not uh, 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 when they get uh, isolated uh, 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 from the, uh, their other halves in reproduction, they form a different species. And if, uh, if genetic drift and other uh, aspects of uh, like mutation happens to them, then they uh, form a different whole to other species. Migration refers to permanent outbreaking. Permanent yes, yes. auto migration by a selection of population which results in hybridization. Mating between the uh, species outside of the Mendelian population is known as uh, hybridization, and the phenomenon is known as migration. What is, uh, can you know what is genetic drift? Certain uh, sudden, sudden change in genetics of. Uh, the gene frequency of a population. Without the role of gene mutation and natural selection. Could you tell me what is... What are the characteristics of primates? Uh, they learn by trial and error. They have uh, mostly bin uh, uh, binocular vision. And they have a uh, pair of... Uh, uh, mammalian grand uh, suckling of the young ones and they are uh, more uh, intelligent than the rest of other animals mm -hmm. yes they give birth to live ones young ones live ones live birth huh? what is stereoscopic vision so basically 3d vision i think they can uh... It results in a great visual acuity. What do you mean by primate taxonomy? Uh, the division of order primate into superfamily, subfamily, then uh, uh, genus. It is basically the classification of primates. What is the name of New World Monkey? Which super family is known as, known as New World Monkeys? Seboidia, I think. Hmm. Seboidia includes some species like Marmoset, Spider Monkey, Tamarind. Okay. Who are the Old World Monkeys? Sarcopithecoidia. They include Rhesus Monkey, Langurs, Baboon. Langur means the uh, Hanuman Mankara. Hanu Makara, Rasasman Ki means Fatimakara, Baboon, 
hominoidal consist of whom men and apes humans and apes apes re ke ke janti ha we are included in the under the apes sorry who are all included in the apes uh, gorilla chimpanzee orangutan gibbon okay which ape is nearest to man nearest to i think gorilla no no gorilla is the largest ape chimpanzee is the nearest to man in terms of uh, physical Chim- and psycho physical and mental ability chimpanzee yes What is bipedalism? Hmm? Walking in two legs. Bipedalism is just to walking and running on hind limbs to propel the body. Who is a perfect example of bipedalism? Human being. Hmm. differentiate between the anatomical structure of man and ape this question has come in uh, means many times sir in human being uh, our cranial capacity is around uh, 1450 cc but uh, in case of primates like chimpanzee and gorilla it is around 400 to 550 cc then our uh, our cranial skeleton is more developed but in case of uh, primates the facial skeleton is more developed uh, mm. uh, 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 we have a well developed uh, we have a well developed forehead and chin they don't have and our sagittal crest is not that developed they have a well developed sagittal crest uh, our, our nose is prominent uh, they don't have a, a prominent nose uh, our uh, our brain has developed more co- in comparison to the jaw but their jaw is more developed what about and, the spine uh, spine our uh, we have a corby spine but they have the corbs are lacking in primates primates have two corbs humans have four corbs okay linea as far as present in femur of humans only and uh, and uh, legs are longer than arms but that is reverse in it and humans have arched feet whereas apes have opposable hallux for climbing the trees also our pelvis girdle is broader and shortened but they are they have a longer pelvis yes uh, what do you mean by australopithecus sense australopithecines they are the hominids of extinct genera australopithecus and paranthropus please repeat australopithecines are the hominids of extinct genera australopithecus and paranthropus okay who discovered who discovered australopithecus africanus raymond dart in 1924 i think where where uh, in tong africa tang valley africa what is homo erectus it's 
uh, it's a the immediate in, in, immediate predecessor of uh, modern day humans it is an extinct species of genus homo meaning the upright man he could walk straight that is why the name homo erectus okay tell me about the homo neanderthal man it is extinct genus of uh, which is uh, generally content yes whether it belong to the homo uh, homo sapiens chain or not but it was uh, available in the central europe uh, southern europe uh, from uh, 1 lakh uh, bc to uh, 40 or 30000 bc who was a more robust body than the homo erectus and perhaps many, they coexisted at the same time how many types of neanderthals were there two types two types basically two types classical type and progressive type what are the classical types give me example one example large apple of saints in france classical type example and progressive type example is mount carmel in israel Okay, uh, what is the physical features of uh, homo neanderthals? Uh, they have a bulbous forehead and uh, large, stocky nose, uh, which is uh, wide, and the teeth were also more robust than human uh, Homo erectus and modern day humans. And their uh, chest is more widened, and they are a little bit uh, bent in their stature. Uh, so basically, they have a robust structure. Oh, they are more uh, in a, they are more bulkier than the normal human, modern day humans okay tell me the three uh, oh, who are the known as homo sapiens the cro-magnon men chancellor and uh, one more grimaldi grimaldi yes These are the species of Homo sapiens. But who are the Homo sapiens? Is the extinct species of uh, extinct species of genus Homo, and they are meaning as they are means as wise man. Now we have finished this. We will go to the culture. What is culture? According to E. B. Taylor, it is the whole culture. Uh, complex whole of uh, custom beliefs uh, uh, culture co- custom beliefs and other aspects of um, i have forgotten the exact term uh, which complex- which is which is learned by human being as a uh, member of the society culture is that complex uh, whole which includes knowledge beliefs customs and other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of the society Yes, sir. What is enculturation? When a child learns his culture, then it this can be called as enculturation. Enculturation is the process process of learning one's own culture. Yes. The I can tell the child example also. What is enculturation? when one individual learns the culture of another uh, individual then different than his own culture then that is called a culture a culture is the process that results from first hand contact between groups with different cultures along with subsequent changes in the respective original patterns when there is diffusion of culture right yes sir isko elaborate karenge thoda sa Elaborate, uh, contra- Sir, please elaborate the enculturation. Enculturation or acculturation? Acculturation is the process that results from the first-hand contact between groups of different cultures, along with subsequent changes in their respective original patterns. 
when uh, different types of groups contact each other there is a change among them each of these cultures original pattern is affected that is known as acculturation what is ethnocentrism it is the view that uh, one's own uh, culture is more superior than others and which is right and natural okay ethnocentrism refers to the judgment of others people's culture values or customs through the prisms of our own the one uh, one says that our culture is the best that is known as ethnocentric ethnocentric self centric means uh, towards pointing uh, towards us only so he says that our culture is the best and rest all cultures are uh, not better not good what is cultural relativism i think it is uh, propounded by marvin harris uh, according to cultural relativism every culture uh, whatever the peculiarities we can see in others culture are the uh, result of certain distinctive uh, historical uh, events which cannot be judged from our lenses according to our preconceived notions so every culture should be looked in their uh, view this kind of the emic uh, approach yes it is ethnic centrism is a ethnic approach actually it is anthropological political approach that emphasizes on understanding any particular culture through logic and meanings of that culture only which is under observation but it is not by looking others culture it is to look the aspects of that culture what is socialization what do you mean by socialization uh, perhaps learning the different aspect of aspects of a society and its cultural so, values socialization is the process whereby an individual learns to adjust to a group or society and behave in a manner approved by the group of society so uh, society jo rules and regulations bane chadi taku jodi se approve karke rahe society से सोसाइटी रे अप्रूव करला करी रहे माने फॉलो द डायरेक्शंस गिवन बाय द सोसाइटी देन इट इज नोन एज सोशलाइजेशन व्हाट इज अ सोशल स्ट्रक्चर इट्स द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स एंड देयर रोल्स देयर स्टेटस टू फॉर्म अ सोसाइटी इज कॉल्ड सोशल स्ट्रक्चर The social structure is the network of social relationships, as expressed in social norms of the society. What is social organization? It's the role performed by the individuals in society. What they do is called social organization. It is actually the expressed as the behavior of the people in the society, in the network of social relationships. what do you mean by society the network of uh, social relations it is a way of life of people of a society no no society please go through it pattern of social social groups social uh, institutions this is social individuals is the pattern of social individual or social group social organizations social institutions okay pattern yeah mingling of uh, mingling of uh, uh, mingling of more individuals in a group okay uh, please see into depression third depression what is culture what is culture hmm. culture uh, uh, the com- complex uh, all of knowledge belief uh, customs yes uh, other capabilities yes. Uh, acquired by men as a member of society culture is a way of life by people of a society yes you have to tell 
it might be an or it is an organization with um, certain purpose which are found by the public and which has it certain set, set of, of rules set of approved rules and uh, procedures by which social relationships are cultivated okay what do you mean by cultural complex वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मैरेज it it hasn't any proper definition but uh, according to some scholars it is the union between a man and woman uh, so that the child born to them is a legitimate uh, legitimate offspring. to vote on them the legitimate legitimate offspring marriage is a union legitimate. between a man and a woman so that the child born to them born to the woman is recognized as a legitimate offspring of both parents it is a definition given by notes and queries in article yes, 1 yes. Uh, you can refer the Aksa Jain. We are uh, we are made the questions and uh, answers from that only. What do you the needs of marriage? Uh, it it arrests the chaos which could have been uh, happened due to sexual competition like animals, and also it gives a stability to human family and uh, uh, gives its responsibility. to check the chaos that may result due to sexual competition to provide for some stable group organization for the security of mother and newborn communication this is the need of marriage what are the what do you mean by monogamy uh, one man marrying one woman what are the types of monogamy uh serial non serial yes yes serial non serial what is polygamy a multiple husband or wives in a marital bond what are is two sub uh, three sub types polygyny polyandry and last one is polygynandry <coughs> that is also known as group marriage What is polygamy? What is polyandry? Sorry, polyandry. क्या होता है? Poly, polyandry single. Uh, sorry, single wife but multiple husband. Polyandry. A polygyny single. Uh, Example in India. Uh, a Khasa tribe. Poly, in you know, northern Himalayas. Italy and also polyandry? the Toda. Yes sir. Yes sir. Then what about the polygamy? Uh, polygamy single husband multiple polygamy. wives that is po sorry polygyny yes sir yes sir polygyny example uh, example many in many tribal societies in naga uh, naga chiefs also used to marry many wives bengali brahmin bengali brahmin means used to keep many wives at a time okay sir
Example can be uh, you cannot marry outside caste. Okay, that is a you know how about incest taboo? Incest taboo. Yes, sir. The incest uh, taboo and evidence. Yeah, incest means uh, meeting between related individuals. So, which taboo means it is banned. It's uh, not yeah. permitted in the society. That relations is uh, not permitted in the society. Prescriptive norms. prescriptive norms is uh, when uh, someone is expected to marry within a social group like uh, cousin marriage uh, no no it it means a uh, 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 person is expected to marry in with a certain regulation it, it it can be exogamy it can be endogamy i mean both of them are included violated, then there are severe sanctions on violating the regulations there are severe sanctions Endogamy means marrying within the close group. With, uh, within a particular group. Exogamy means marriage outside the particular group. What is yes, the preferential norm? Uh, which are desired, the type of marriages which are desired uh, by the society. For uh, those cross cousin, uh, cross cousin marriages, example. Breaking them doesn't uh, break any. Breaking them doesn't entail any sanctions. Okay. Yeah, sanctions. Yes, yes, sir. Example of uh, preferential norms: cousin marriages, yes, leverage, soror rate. What do you mean by leverage? Uh, marrying this this is husband's uh, brother. Wrong. Marrying deceased by brother's wife. Marrying Dickie's brother's wife. What is soror rate? Opposite. Uh, marrying this is husband's brother. Again wrong. Marrying Dickie's wife's sister. Marrying the wife's sister. This is wife's sister. Leverage means the male member is dead. Yes, sir. Leverage means the. Leverage means the uh, lady member is dead, and sororate means the male member is dead. You have remembered that leverage means the lady is dead, and sororate is means the male is dead. What is living relationship? Living under a common roof without getting into a ritual marriage. Okay. What are the functions of marriage? it uh, provides a stable relationship then it provides uh, for uh, sexual rights over husband and wife and it also provides the uh, children uh, with some security from their parents and uh, there is resources are shared between husband and wife so resource security is also there sexual rights is attained by the husband over the female, over the woman over yes. the wife then what are the type of marriage payments They are bride, bride price and dowry, and bride price, dowry, and gift exchange, suitor service. Yes, four types are there. This was asked in 2019. Okay, see. What were the different ways of acquiring mates in simple societies? Marriage by uh, by probation, uh, probationary eight marriage eight. by capture. Purchase, uh, service, marriage. capture, elopement, intrusion, mutual consent, probation, and trial. You okay, tell me what is bride wealth? A bride wealth is basically the wealth which is transformed from the groom side to the daughter's side. What is gift exchange? 
exchange of gifts between the community of the grooms and the bride which is reciprocal in nature reciprocal mostly they used to exchange the sisters uh-huh. what is a family Uh, common residence, economic operation. It, it is a social group, uh, a, pe- a group of people living under a common roof with who have uh, certain responsibility, uh, who have economic operation, etc. Hmm. What are the functions of family? the the functions of family are given by modok and they are uh, first one is uh, rights over sexual uh, sexual rights then uh, rep- reproductive rights then uh, the economic cooperation and uh, also the final one with socialization sexual gratification then children's uh, reproduction then uh, economic cooperation and the final function is socialization of children Okay, what is that uh, what do you mean by nuclear family nuclear family uh, where there is only uh, two generations are present and they are husband wife and they are children hmm. what is a patrilocal family in patrilocal After marriage the uh, bride uh, goes to live uh, with the groom's family what is avenco local family Uh, i think uh, uh, mothers brothers family maternal uncle's house new local family uh, new uh, uh, building up a new house like one western societies what is egalitarian family where equality prevails equality is distributed among the husband and wife egalitarian family is uh, seen in western societies Okay. What is kinship? What do you mean by kinship? The relation formed because of marriage or because of uh, 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 because the... of blood. Yes, yes, blood or marriage. a final and conjugal relation uh, what is uh, what do you mean by the descent it is a relationship by blood strictly by blood inheritance what do you mean by double descent when the inheritance is traced from both the parents that is from mother as well as from father what is lineage lineage is a unilineal descent group uh, in which uh, the member traces their uh, ancestry from a common ancestor it is common smallest, known, known ancestor smallest unilineal descent group yes okay what do you mean by fratry 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 uh, is a uh, unilineal descent group which is bigger than uh, lineage and clan and the descent is traced from the common ancestor but it is bigger than clan and lineage what is kinship terminology giving names to different uh, kins associating them with certain relation types of kinship apanona terminology descriptive kinship terminology and classificatory kinship terminology yes what are the kinship uh, behavior means hmm sir question hai what do you mean by kinship behavior 
uh, there are certain type of uh, permanent relationship between kings for example uh, in borneo the uh, i forgotten the name of the tribes they uh, call up to second cousin for uh, hunting that sort of relationship okay. certain behavior uh, refer to the definite is the behavior refer to the definite and comparatively permanent behavior patterns between kings there are the following types are there avoidance joking relationship jesus ali ka relationship and uh, technonymy even colet imitate and covert what are the different modes of exchange in an economy it's a reciprocity then a redistribution market exchange and ceremonial exchange yes. butter total five types are there what do you mean by ceremonial exchange give me an example kula exchange is a ceremonial exchange and pick fest pick fest is redistribution redistribution potlatch it's a redistribution potlatch potlatch is also ceremonial ceremonial and the pig fest is it this was not about reciprocity the same sembaga society sembaga society they give text during child birth what is butter without any medium of exchange yeah. uh, yes sir it is also just an exchange of commodities with another community what are the various types of livelihoods in simple societies pastoralism hunting gathering then fishing horticulture and uh, finally cultivation uh, agriculture what are the various type of political organization found in human society band tribe hmm. chiefdom then tribal Band, society tribal societies and state uh, state societies like chiefdom monarchy modern state what are the mechanisms of justice delivery ordeal both and ordeal ordeal or both oracles ओके दिशा दा आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ रंग्स एंड पनिशमेंट कैसे देते थे पब्लिक ओपिनियन मोकरी मैजिक विच क्राफ्ट सॉर्सरी विथड्रॉल ऑफ रेसिप्रोसिटी फियर ऑफ सुपरनेचुरल पावर एंड रिवेंज एंड बैसिंग फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी हां बॉयकॉटिंग ना बॉयकॉटिंग और ऑस्ट्रासाइजिंग फ्रॉम सोसाइटी और व्हाट इज द वेरियस अप्रोचेस टू स्टडी रिलीजन दिस क्वेश्चन केम लास्ट ईयर evolutionary approach then uh, a psychological approach by sigmund freud a functional approach by malinowski and arsi brown functional approach is there psychological approach is there evolutionary approach is there what are the different approaches in evolutionary approach evolutionary approach animism animatism totemism animism means uh, animism belief in soul Uh, anima means soul. Soul is means anima. Animatism means animatism. Uh, mana is belief in mana as the transferable supernatural power. thing. Power. What is the totemism? totemism? Associating powers to certain object. No, no, no. Sorry, sir. Uh, Some plants associating... are revered. Or high yes, yes, yes. Considered as a religious symbol, they are not killed. That is known as totemism. Yes. Psychological approach. Uh, how many theories are there? There is one by Sigmund Freud, I think. Psychoanalytical theory, and one is by Carl Jung, therapeutic theory, right? What is the functional approach? Functional approach is given by Malinowski, which says there is a function uh, that perform that is performed by religion in societies, like. Uh, uh, we we 
approach to religion uh, when there is a vagaries in our life or there is something going on something wrong going, when there is a turbulence on. or we are under Turbul the threat yes that is then we psycho functional approach social functional theory also known as uh, dr mesi what is monotheism worshiping only single god polytheism multiple gods sir like hindu religion Uh, I got a call from my relative, so just tell them that uh, my class is going on. So, what is uh, what is mean by fetishism? Worshiping a particular object, <laughs> like in some tribes they worship one sword. I am not able to remember the name. In I think uh, in Malkangiri, uh, the tribe um, they worship some uh, one sword. Again, got a call. Sorry, sorry. Ah, what is meant by fetishism, please? Worshiping of some object. Okay, worshiping of a fetish. This object to have, it is believed to have some supernatural powers, and thus attributed yeah. with value. And what is a uh, magic? Manipulation of supernatural power to do one's own bidding. Hmm. What are the area? Which type of uh, religious practitioners in a primitive society? Summon then witch and uh, uh, then priest. Priest. Summon sorceress, witches Sorcer and mediums. What do you mean by rites de passage? Sorry, sir. What do you mean by rites de passage? Rites de passage. Uh, passing of rites, uh, for example, during the childbirth and uh, uh, marriage, they pass pass certain rites, like the succession of property. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you mean by taboo? Certain things are prohibited. Those are known as uh, taboo, which can attract supernatural anger. Okay. For example, can you say that in the society there is totemism? They do not kill the bird, or they don't kill the animal. That is a taboo. Yes. What sir. is classical evolutionism? Evolutionism. It's a theory, oh. anthropological theory, which was given by E. B. Tyler, and L. H. Morgan, and uh, James Fraser. So, according to this theory, they say that there is unilineal evolution. Every society passed through the same phases of evolution. And there is psychic, there is psychic unit, unity of psychic mankind. mankind. What is the psychic unity of mankind? Say, every human society thinks alike. That is the reason. Every, every society... human mind acts in the same manner. They think in the same process, and in acts in the same uh, are present in a similar environmental situation. This explains why the societies ask similar evolutionary stages of cultural evolution. What do you mean by diffusion? Diffusionism. when one culture uh, uh, is adopted by one one culture is adopted by a different uh, society then that is called diffusion of culture and this diffusionism concept was given by uh, three schools german school egypt school and american school uh, diffusion of culture is is a 
thought resisted uh, seeking to understand the culture through the origin of the cultural traits. Culture is traits itself through diffusion. This is known as diffusionism. Three schools of diffusionism British, German, and American. What is neo evolutionism? New evolutionism uh, was a theory which uh, came in 20th century to rectify the mistakes that were uh, uh, propounded by the classical evolutionists. What are the and they, were about, they were critical about evolutionism and diffusionism. What are the schools of thoughts? Sorry? What are the schools of thoughts? In new evolution. Hmm. There are uh, American school and uh, British school. Mm, yes. What is cultural ecology? Cultural ecology is a concept given by Julian Stewart. And according to him, the culture is uh, uh, saved by the its environment or ecology. Culture is saved by the adaptation to the environment. Yes. What is functionalism? Functionalism is a concept uh, or theory given by two prominent anthropologists, uh, one Radcliffe Brown and uh, Malinowski. And according to functionalism, every uh, social institution has a function to perform in society. Like for uh, functionalism of Malinowski, uh, a social uh, institution is there to uh, cater to the needs of individual. What is structural functionalism? Structural functionalism concept was given by Ratcliffe Brown. According to him, a uh, social institution is there to cater to the need of society as a whole, not individual, like said by Malinowski. Okay, then difference is uh, functionalism is singular and structural functionalism is means structural text as a whole. So, society as a whole. Okay, society as a whole. What is structuralism? It was given by, uh, I think, Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss. Yes. School of thought. It is propounded by Levi Strauss. His ultimate concern was to establish facts which are true about the human mind rather than about the organization of any particular. Thing. According to this theory, the models making up the social structure are constructed in the mind through the thought process. Yes. What is cultural personality school? Culture Personality School uh, was uh, that the principle was based on psychological anthropology and it was uh, mm -hmm. given by Ruth Benedict, Margaret Mead, uh, then Cora Dubo and Ralph Linton. Ralph Linton. And it is basically says that uh, both culture and uh, uh, personality Personal of yeah. individuals and societies are interdependent, interrelated, interdependent. affected by each other. What is cultural materialism? Cultural materialism concept was given by Marvin Harris and it says that uh, he, he explained the concept in three structures, three layers like in an onion there is uh, first, first uh, level was infrastructure, then second was uh, structure, third was superstructure and he said that infrastructure, any changes in the infrastructure will affect the superstructure. And infrastructure, he included uh, marriage, kinship, all this thing. And superstructure, he included religion and abstract things like philosophical things. And he gave an example, uh, like in, in India, we worship cow because uh, of the need, because economical need uh, is uh, dependent on cow. For example, in agriculture, we dependent on cow, dung, and also for milk also, we are dependent on cow. So the infrastructure mm. is... Uh, affecting the superstructure that is religion. That's why we are worshipping the cow. What is emic approach? Emic approach uh, means insider perspective. Etic approach? Etic is uh, when the anthropologist studies the culture from his own perspective, that is outsider perspective. What is modernism? It's also an anthropological theory where they, uh, the postmodernists like Michael Foucault, then uh, Jack Derrida, 
they said that uh, there is no universal uh, truth and everything has to be deconstructed to understand that uh, deconstructed uh, yes to understand the things madam uh, this study is a construction by the elites elites uh, yes there is a need to deconstruct yes. what yes. is cognitive anthropology or new anthro- ethnography sir i have been i haven't read that actually i have skipped that part. anyone else okay too close to psychology uh, how people conceive different things in different cultures something like that the approach states that the culture is composed of logical rules based on ideas that can be assessed in the human mind basically it is related to cognition what is symbolic anthropology it is also a anthropological theory where the anthropologist they said that we can understand a culture based on studying a, a symbol if we analyze the symbol and uh, the basic understanding of the symbol can help us understand the whole culture in the school of thought that seeks to study how people understand the surroundings around them through the study of symbols and their interpretation what is field work field work is a data collection technique where uh, the anthropologist visits the field and he interacts with the uh, culture group to collect the data and study the culture group can you name some famous field works Malinowski in uh, Trogri Anders, then uh, uh, Radcliffe Brown among the Andaman Islanders, then uh, WHR Rivers among Todas. Todas, yes. What is meant by observation? When we observation means when we observe something to. study that or collect data about that thing very minutely then we can call it observation observation is a systematic and deliberate study through the eyes of the investigator a continuous occurrence what is participant observation literally get completely getting involved in a society uh, becoming a member of the society then studying is known as participant observation participant observation is a field work method which researcher studies society or culture by directly participating participating himself in the socio cultural activities of a member as a part of the society what is the interview it is a research method for collecting the data in a planned and focused manner what is genealogical method pressing the ancestry of an ego that is an individual to know about the evolution of that society or know about the uh, social relations like marriage kinship etc inheritance also we can study through genealogy what is participatory rural appraisal pra participatory rural uh, appraisal means uh, uh, to collect the data in a limited amount of time What is pedigree? Pedigree analysis. What is pedigree analysis? It's a part of biological anthropology, where uh, uh, the inheritance of a disease is traced through drawing the family chart. Family oh. chart. Okay. What is karyotyping? It's the complete set of chromosome. It is a visualization of chromosomes through a microscope. Under a microscope. Okay, karyotype is the complete set of chromosomes. Yes, yes. Do you know what is the three laws of Mendelism? Law of dominance, law of segregation, and law of uh, assort, assort, assortment. assortment. What is autosomal inheritance? Autosomal inheritance is the inheritance of a disease through autosome. That is the uh, chromosome that are not sex chromosome, like not X and Y chromosome. Yeah, other chromosomes. How many chromosomes are in human body? Twenty-three pairs of chromosome. Out of, out of which twenty-three? 
इनब्रीडिंगशन Yes. Okay. What is meant by sexual chromosomes? Chromosomal aberrations. Is the genetic disorders arising out of uh, the problems in the sex chromosomes? The example are Klein-Fanchel syndrome, Turner syndrome, and triple X syndrome. Okay, what is autosomal chromosomal aberration? Genetic disorders, uh, uh, which are due to uh, non-sexual chrom uh, chromosomes. Like Down syndrome. Defect. Yes. Formula क्या है Down syndrome का? You can refer the book also. No problem. Uh, trisomy twenty one, I think. Yeah. What is meant by other one? Otherwise, this another one. Uh, Edward syndrome, trisomy eighteen. Patau syndrome, trisomy thirteen. And can uh, I do chart syndrome also? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is meant by genetic screening? Um. completely analyzing someone's present conditions of uh, gene genetic defects in someone then uh, uh, accessing the future recurrence of the disease and communicating to the communicating for any uh, financial and emotional burden is known as genetic screening actually genetic screening is a screening of the patients for any genetic disorders and genetic counseling is the communication process Which deals with okay. the human problems associated with the risk of recurrence of a genetic disorder in a family. Okay. What is DNA fingerprinting? Finding out the unique pattern of uh, DNA bases of in someone's uh, uh, gene. By various methods like the NTR method, to which is useful in criminal criminal investigation and other uh, and other applications also. There, what is human genome project? Okay, please search it. What is the difference between race and ethnicity? Racism is a social concept, whereas race is a biological concept. And uh, race is basically a populist Mendelian population, which are uh, up to that isolated, so that there is no exchange of uh, gene in between. But racism is a culturally determined concept, as there is feeling of superiority and purity based on the one color, and that is uh, negated by the race code. Yes, sir. What is a paternity disorder? Sir, again. What do you mean by paternity disorder? 
illegitimate child born out of the mother or out of marriage then that marriage uh, is the, the sex determination of the child is done by taking the blood of by taking the dna samples of both the uh, father of the father with the father's match dna samples match with that of, uh, boy that of child then is a paternity dispute this is all okay what do you mean by acclimatization uh, temporary adjustment of body to a certain new environment known as acclimatization what do you mean by bergman's rule body size it's it uh, relates to body size body size is uh, uh, large in cold areas like in arctic region and it is small in tropical region where the temperature is high allen's rule allen's rule it uh, the extremities it relates to extremities and uh, the extremities are uh, large or longer in uh, hot regions and the extremities are smaller in colder region <laughs> epidemiological like okay epidemiological anthropology it's related to diseases study of diseases and uh, their distribution their determinants of different diseases in humans and disorders in human community what is meant by malnutrition inadequate intake of sufficient calorie which is needed for our body what are the stages of human so four stages of name them prenatal till infancy and childhood adolescence post adolescence and senescence six stages are there what are the various yes, methods sir. of studying growth cross sectional method and longitudinal method and semi longitudinal method also what do you mean by growth spot you can during adolescence uh, answer is given that what is the growth spot there is a point in a sudden in, increase in uh, body features and uh, sexual maturation during adolescent time what do you mean by senescence it is the sign of uh, uh, to be dead dead or something like that. it replaces changes due to the post maturity phase resulting in decreased capacity due to functional declines what do you mean by somatotypism seldans method you know seldans method yes what are the best types of somatotypes hmm. endo endo ecto and um, meso what is menarche onset the sexual of maturation uh, Onset of first menstrual cycle. What is menopause? End of the menstrual cycle. Demographic transition. The change in population pattern. Explain me about the death rate. What is Marxian theory of population? That food uh, increases in arithmetic progression, whereas population increases in geometric progression. and there is positive check by nature that is known as measures and there are preventive checks what is meant by fertility the actual reproductive capacity of a couple uh, of people uh, what is meant by fertility the fertility is the uh, reproductive capacity of someone what is anthropometry मेजरमेंटलीटीटी What is nutritional anthropology? Nutritional 
which is there in your book now nutritional anthropology study of nutrition and uh, how it affects the human population then it also nutrition what is that measurement of uh, body size body shape okay what are the applications of anthropometry anthropometry application can be in forensic anthropology then in uh, designing chairs then uh, defense application designing like of co- cockpits designing of cockpit designing of uh, helmets force instrument flying yes defense application also Ab- like what is forensic anthropology okay application okay, of anthropology. application of uh, it, it this concept was given by cc so i think and he said it's that no, it no. Uh, no. It's, 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 uh, uh he said that application of physical anthropology uh, in medical jurisprudence like measurement of uh, b- uh, body size then racial classification all these things for discovering the criminal cases what is eugenics interference at the uh, inheritance of genetic level for example uh, assorted mating selective mating or animal cloning uh, gene therapy etc it so that's a vector gene sir it is a study of making genetic improvement of human race in order to improve the future generations what is uh, yes what are the types of dating techniques types of dating techniques dating techniques absolute dating relative dating Yes. What is the example of absolute dating? Absolute carbon uh, carbon dating is absolute and stratification. Uh, stratification. There are uh, the chronology absolute dating, relative dating, and the Lewin dating in stratigraphy. What is Paleolithic yes, culture? Paleolithic culture is a phase of human evolution. Recorded Where for the entire Pleistocene the... epoch. Yes. This divided into how many phases? Upper Paleolithic, Upper Middle, Lower. Tell me an example of Upper Paleolithic from India. Upper Paleolithic. Uh... In in uh, Bhimbetka, we can find the evidences of Upper Paleolithic. Yes, yes. Mesolithic culture. mesolithic i think uh, from some place in gujarat i am not able to remember that name langnas uh, difference in mesolithic mm-hmm. mesolithic is the transition phase between uh, paleolithic and neolithic and in this period there is a change in climate that is why warm climate in one warm because of warm climate the size of tools also got reduced and microlithic phase it it also called as microlithic phase Uh, in the earliest Holocene culture, prior to advent of wide-scale food production, important sites in India include Sara Nahara Rai, Sara Nahara Rai, Langnas, and Bhim Bhatka. Neolithic culture, New Stone Age culture. It is called as New Stone Age culture. It is. It comes after the Mesolithic, and in this phase, the uh, characteristic feature is the food production and animal domestication. food production is there use of uh, cells work there economy shifted to hunting gathering to subsistence economy sedentary life was started yes. social yes. Uh, complex social organization started political organization was also created important sites in india kon kon neolithic ra neolithic ra burzaham jamun kashmir mehargarh pakistan mehargarh ha chirang bihar dao dao delhi hadik assam Assam, yes. About the Chalcolithic culture. Chalcolithic, where uh, copper uh, tools is also used along with stone tools. Bro, that is why called Chalcolithic. Yes. What is prehistoric art? Sorry. Prehistoric art. Prehistoric art is the cave cave paintings and uh, the main. Uh, which was uh, created during the mostly upper paleolithic and mesolithic period and it includes cave art and various uh, figurines like mother goddess 
Yes, sir. What do you mean by changes the characteristics of Indus Valley civilization? The important characteristic is uh, town planning, then uh, Great Bath, then uh, Grand town planning. Grat, granary. Yes. Citadels. Burned Brown bricks. Like a uh, system of town planning was there. What is. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> Who gave the uh, what is the BS Boas classification of Indian population? I said classification. Uh, names are not able to remember. Uh, Negrito, Negrito, no, 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 no. Negrito, Proto Australid, Mongolid, Mediterranean, Western Brachy Sables, and Nordic. Nordic. Okay, what are the structure of uh, traditional Indian social system? What is it represents? Inequality, uh, hierarchical nature of the society. You know, uh, it's represented by Varnas from Purusha, yes, Karma, Rita and Rebirth. Joint, yes, joint. Uh, joint family also. Tell me about Varnas from. There are many theories of the, its origin. It's basically the stratification of uh, Indian society as a whole. It's a loose and uh, broad classification of Indian society and where uh, untouchables are not included. And according to the hierarchy, the topmost is occupied by the Brahmins, then Khatriya, then Sudra, then uh, by, sorry, then Boisha, then Sudra. One from refers to the ideal form of social organization. It represents the four Varnas occupational groups. After the four ashramas, Varn Vyavastha means that. Varna ashrama means ashram Vyavastha. Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Bhanaprastha, Sanyasa. What is the name of Prusar? It includes Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha. It is the four stage, uh, four basic goals of life. Uh, uh, moksha being the ultimate desire of salvation. What is meant by uh, Rina? Uh, the debt we debt of every human being. For example, uh, Rishi Runa, Pitra Runa, Deva Runa, which we have to uh, fulfill or uh, we don't get moksha. What is meant by ka? Kama. Cast, cast. Caste is a closed organic group uh, with uh, occupation specialization and uh, uh, marriage, uh, commensality, etc. are not allowed. Caste is derived from the caste, meaning a system of stratification based on color, creed, blood, and race, etc. Okay. What is the divine theory of caste system of origin? Sir, who is theory? Divine theory or traditional theory of caste. Sir, according to that theory, uh, uh, someone Rig Veda, Purusha Sukta, that theory is given that from uh, Brahma's uh, head, Brahmins uh, born, from hand, Khatriya, from uh, belly, the uh, Vaishyas, and from the leg, the Sudras. Yes. What is the dominant caste? Uh, this is given by M. N. Srinivas in 1959 uh, uh, with his uh, do dominant caste in Rampura. Uh, according to him, there are certain caste which are numerically powerful and also not uh, we, we, uh, usually with a higher ritual and uh, social uh, status. Uh, they dominate the vi uh, village politics and everything. Example of dominant caste? Uh, like uh, in Brahm, a certain Brahmin group in Tamil Nadu and uh, uh, Jats of uh, UP Bihar. Ajgar, Jats, Minas in Adhistan, Ajgar, others in Western UP, and uh, there are Kurds in Tamil Nadu. What is in the Germanic system? 
Jadbani system is given by uh, William Isla. I forgot. Oh, yes, sir. Isla. Uh, according to him, uh, every caste in a village have certain obligation to fulfill the needs of other caste. Due to their economic specialization, they're expected to give certain services to other caste. They mm -hmm. have the concept of Jajman and Kamin. Uh, there is a stratification uh, and two groups like uh, division two groups of Jajmans. Judgments are the uh, higher caste and Kamins are the landless caste. Okay. They serve the uh, Kamins are the judgments in return of in return of uh, uh, non-monetary items like food protection. Okay. What is sacred complex? I think this is given by LP Vidyarthi in during his study of Hindu complexes of uh, Goya. Uh, according to him, uh, certain these uh, cultural pilgrimage centers are used to be the uh, uh, epitome of uh, cultural uh, diffusion from where different. Place, different complex of, uh, is divided into three places. What are they? Sacred geography, sacred performance, and sacred species. Yes, sir. What is nature main spirit complex, NMS complex? Uh, this is also given by LP Vidyarthi. Uh, according to him, the nature, uh, during his story of Malayas, of uh, Chotnagur Plateau, given this uh, this concept that the nature, man, and uh, uh, society are interrelated and interdependent. <laughs> Tell me about Buddhism. This question came in 2015. Uh, Buddhism is propounded by Gautam Buddha, who got born in uh, Lumbini in 540 BC. Um, and his uh, Buddhism's uh, main concept were uh, 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 no lie, no uh, stealing, and uh, mostly concentrated around dharma. Dharma and Karma, which is uh, and the which is philosophically very simple without any elaborate rituals and complex uh, uh, vices like in Hinduism, which uh, attracted many people at the point Buddhism, of time. Uh, uh, there are eight noble fold paths, no? Buddhism. Yes, sir. Then yes, sir. Yes. Jainism. Yes, sir. Who was the founder Jainism. of Buddhism? Founder of Buddhism, Gautam Buddha. You should mention it. Yes. What is Jainism? Yes, sir. Yes. It is founded by Mahavir Jain, but before him already 23 Tirthankaras are there, he's the 24th one. And it is uh, similar to both Buddhism and Hinduism, uh, most kind of. Uh, it has taken both concepts from Buddhism and Hinduism. Uh, it didn't outrightly rejected the uh, Varna system like Buddhism, but uh, otherwise mostly similar to Buddhism, like non-stealing, Aparigraha, Asteya, uh, 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 Brahmacharya, etc. Into how many phases Indian anthropology is divided? By whom? Three phases. Uh, 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 before nine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seventeen seventy-four to nineteen ninety. Then comes constructive phase, 1920-14, and next is the analytical phase, 1950 onwards. It was yes, given sir. by L.P. Vidyat. Who is yes, Chandra Roy? Sarachandra Roy. Hmm. He was he was known as father of Indian ethnology. He did extensive research uh, fieldwork on the tribes, on Munda and Karari. He started the first journal, Man in India. What is the significance of Gobind Sadasiv Ghuri? Korea was uh, supporting the assembly theory. Uh, 
He was the finest Indian anthropologist. He gave the concept of Sanskritization, dominant caste, yes, sir, yes. and Westernization and secularization. Okay. What is the contribution of Dr. Barrier? Barrier. He was a British sexologist. He gave the concept of isolationist, isolationist, isolationist policy for tribal development. What is L.P. Uh, Lalit Prasad Vidyarthi contribution? The sacred complex and NMS, sorry, sacred complex of Hindu Gaya and NMS complex. Ah. What is the contribution of H.P. Sankalia? The finest anthro uh, archaeologist, I think. Yes, archaeologist. Now, tell me the problems faced by linguistic minorities in India. Sorry again. Problems faced by linguistic minorities in India. Uh, first of all, the language they are, the language they speak is different from the state language of the state they are living in. For example, uh, Maithili, Magahi, etc. languages in Bihar, which is uh, largely overlooked by the government. So they are not getting that. Uh, uh, passed on, exp exp especially the new generation are not getting any educational experience. So they are getting uh, extinct in the verge of being extinct. And uh, also, even if getting, after getting included in the uh, 22nd uh, schedule, uh, mm. they are still uh, getting ignored by the state governments. And also, they are due to unavailability of teachers and uh, preferred books, the tribal languages are also suffering. And also, there is not availability of any particular lippy of these languages. What do you mean by? Uh, okay, tell me about. Uh, tell me about the problems of religious minorities. The mar marginalization by majority, uh, majoritarian religion and also the communal disharmony happens once in a while, mo most of the time. And uh, uh, the mostly the problem they face is the perception by the main, uh, uh, mostly uh, people. Poverty and backward uh, religious community, high levels of illiteracy. Discrimination, poverty, stereotype, community violence, even uh, hate speech, hate violence, hate crimes also. You have yes, asked for the mob lynching in Uttar Pradesh some years back, two years back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lack of representation in legislature, executive, judiciary, and higher bureaucracy. These are the problems. What are the constitutional rights? Uh, they got a religious right. They got a religious right under 25 to 28 article, then 29 30 article also says about the protection of both linguistic as well as religious minorities. And they got a reservation. And uh... Article 29, Article 30, Article 347, uh, and Article 350. What do you mean by yes, Sanskritization? Uh, Sanskritization is uh, basically the process through which the uh, usually the lower uh, caste, they imitate the uh, customs, beliefs, and lifestyle of higher caste, and with time, they may or they may not achieve the higher ritual status. Hmm. What is Westernization? The, it is basically the impact of uh, British uh, during, the rule, during the rule in India, which uh, mostly propagate uh, uh, modernization, urbanization, and uh, egalitarianism, etc. What is great tradition and little tradition? Uh, great traditions are mostly based on the mainstream population, which little tradition are uh, from the folk. Great uh, by elite, elite community. 
उनवर्ड and getting assimilated in a smaller scale for example uh, the ga debis kind of they are paro symbol of parochialization whereas uh, uh, some goddesses getting mainstream appreciation like uh, uh, goddess kamaksha or goddess uh, uh, santoshi devi and i think that is uh, universalization what is the uh, importance of indian village in a social, social system last question sir Indian religion as a social system. Indian religion. Indian religious. Uh, sir, question again, not here. Audible. In Indian village as a social system. Yes, sir. Uh, Indian villages are mostly uh, uh, comprises of certain values. For example, uh, uh, joint family, then uh, farming as their main occupation. and uh, uh, caste hierarchy is more rigid than the urban society uh, mostly religious nature religious and uh, okay i have given my number everybody is listening na padma ja ma'am can you respond okay okay to add my number my Uh, can you respond to me? I'm not able to listen to you. Okay, okay. And Padma Jam, I have given my number. If you have any query, any doubt, you can call me or give me a message. So when shall we yes, conduct sir. the anthropology paper two? Anthropology paper is finished. Have you appeared this 2019 means? Yes, sir. I have appeared this year. So means I've written this year. And then Padma Jha, ma'am, have you appeared? I'm not able to hear or guess. Can loudly say it? ऑडिबल सर आवाज आ रही है मेरी ऑडिबल ऑडिबल हेलो मेरी आवाज आ रही है सर ऑडिबल आ रहा है वेट आई एम कंक्लूडिंग सर वी कैन ओके प्लीज यू हैव द नंबर व्हेनेवर यू एंड वांट टू कॉल मी और इंटरेक्ट विद मी कैन ड्रॉप अ मैसेज ऑन टेलीग्राम एंड How was the interaction? So it was it was good, sir. Okay, I think the body is also good, and Anupam uh, also left, so it was better, na? To refresh again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Amar, thank you. Sorry. I have given you number. Ah, uh, Divya, you speak. Cover the paper. Hey, Mary. Huh? Ah, what's happening, Mary? Huh? What's happening? Ah, it was good, sir. But it was good, good, sir. Participate, sir. अच्छा और पेपर वन कंप्लीट था 
हाँ पेपर वन अच्छा मैं ये बोल रहा था भी शायद मेरी आवाज नहीं पहुंच पाई कि हम नाइन फर्स्ट अमेंडमेंट से और अप टू द केशवानंद भारती केस तुम्हारो हम लोग डिस्कस कर सकते हैं नंबर वन नंबर टू इकोनॉमी का बेसिक्स डिस्कस कर सकते हैं द एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ अमेंडमेंट्स एंड एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ इकोनॉमी ओके वी विल डिस्कस लेटर हां लेटर इन इन द छुट्टी इन द छुट्टी डेज इन द हॉलिडे डेज ओनली यस यस ओके आई हैव राइटिंग योर आंसर फॉर द आंसर्स सबसे नहीं एंथ्रोपोलॉजी आंसर तो अभी चार पांच दिन से नहीं लिखा अभी तो केवल वो लिखा था लक्ष्मीकांत का फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ चैप्टर वो कंप्लीट कर रहा था मैं आप क्वेश्चन आंसर करो ना क्वेश्चन आंसर करो तो विजन आंसर है सर वही सफिशिएंट है एक्चुअल में विजन आई सफिशिएंट इसलिए नहीं हो पा रही है सर क्योंकि मुझे लक्ष्मीकांत कंप्लीट करना है लक्ष्मीकांत कंप्लीट करने ये वहां पे डायरेक्ट वो वो चीज बहुत अच्छे से करने के लिए विजन को बहुत अच्छे से अगर करना है तो लक्ष्मीकांत का जो बेसिक्स है ना वो भी करना पड़ेगा जो एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस आएंगे एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस कवर करने के लिए लक्ष्मीकांत कवर करना बहुत जरूरी है बिना लक्ष्मीकांत के बने की नहीं बात तो सब कम्प्लीट लक्ष्मीकांत मुझे नहीं करनी है जो उसका जो टिपिकल पार्ट है इट इज अ चैप्टर वन चैप्टर टू चैप्टर थ्री चैप्टर फोर चैप्टर फाइव चैप्टर सिक्स एंड चैप्टर इलेवन ये टिपिकल पार्ट है मतलब ये थियोरिटिकल पार्ट है और इस थियोरिटिकल पार्ट को कंप्लीट करने के लिए मैंने उसके जो नोट वो बनाए हैं नोट्स फॉर्म में कंप्लीट प्रस्तावना प्रस्तावना को कंप्लीट प्रस्तावना के नोट्स बनाए मैंने ठीक है उसके बाद मेकिंग इस 